Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. Also make sure you turn off the dishwasher's water supply underneath the sink. In this video we're going to show you how to change out the Whirlpool dishwasher upper dish rack wheel. It's going to be a very easy repair and it'll only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the new upper dish rack wheel. The main reason you'll be changing out the upper dish rack wheel is if the wheel or the supports are damaged and it's not supporting the dish rack. To change out the wheel, we have to open up the dishwasher and remove the upper rack. Now we can pull the rail out from the dishwasher a little bit so we can gain access to this clip. You can take a small screwdriver and push the clip in and then push up on the end cap. Now we can do the other side. Now that we have the end caps out, we can pull out the upper dish rack and set it on the counter so we can change out the wheel. Now that we have the rack out, we can flip it up on its side and take our screwdriver to press on this clip and lift it off the rack. Here's the old wheel next to the new wheel. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. To put the new wheel on, you want to lower it down into place, turn it so it's aligned with the rack, and then snap it into place. Now that we have the wheel installed, we can put the dish rack back into the dishwasher. All you have to do is line up the wheels with the rails, slide it into place, and then we can put the end caps back in. We're going to put the end caps in the same way we took them out. Go ahead and pull out the rail a little bit so you have access to the holes, and then you can slip the end caps in. Now that we have the rack back in, we can close the door, plug it back in, turn the water back on, and give it a whirl. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.